Hello viewers. So we are listening to Ali Zafar. I think it's second time probably we are listening to him on this channel. The first time we listened first... to actually we listened to um Ham Kyu Chale Us Rapper on Kok Studio. Mm -hmm. But he was part of the four vocalists uh, who sang that particular track and gave tribute to Junaid Jamshed. So this is the second time we are listening to his uh, track and this one dropped a couple of weeks ago. It's still pretty new. Um, and the track is called Rati Chan. So the night, the moon, the moon actually, if we talk mm -hmm. about it. And this one actually was shared by Harris to me and I, I liked it instantly. There were multiple reasons of it, which we will discuss during our session and also after the sound. So should we get started then? Let's do it. Three, two, one, play. Andhir Nagri. Brilliant visuals, no? Rati Chan. Bogs and Uzi. I haven't heard Bogs or Uzi before. Featuring Alisa. And a shout out to Bob Rock Studio. Brilliant work. The, the nice acoustic sound that we were talking about just now. Jado rati chand nikal da hai, jado kaale patal chhaun de ne. Is beerang hai, jado kaale patal chhaun de ne. Is beerang hai, jado kaale patal chhaun de ne. Very warm overall sound, no? Video was very engrossing. <clears throat> it was completely 
लॉस्ट made you like this song um actually quite a few things so for those who don't know um bugs and ozzy they are still relatively new and they are the duo osama moin and salman nafis and i was just going through their channel because their channel is mentioned in the description of this video um and they have an introductory short video where they have introduced themselves and they mentioned that they want to create content and music that creates a positive impact in society um and the kind of content that brings us closer to the creator so no wonder their first publicly available content is so, so sufi. amazing so sufi so uh sufi stuff thing, yeah absolutely they have used the verses of bullisha as well ali zafar has sang the verses of bullisha in this particular mm-hmm. track but um three things uh the lyrics uh the music itself the the very undertone music but what is required of this track and the third thing is the visual the animation actually elevated the impact of this particular track i think i wouldn't have enjoyed the track uh that much if i hadn't watched the video i remember when you shared this particular video with me i put it on my biggest screen and the track started to make sense with the beautiful visuals that they have created the entire um mm-hmm. scene that they have created for this particular track and yeah i mean the effort reflects from the first second till the last as i said in terms of lyrics in terms of music and in terms of animation at the same time so it's a complete package a short movie i would say which is which is really uh interesting watch right yeah so um i hadn't watched the video until today i just heard it on the audio although the visuals caught my attention in the recommendations so i played it but didn't watch the video because yeah, that's usually very distracting even today i was completely lost in the video and you know kind of forgot about what's happening uh but yeah the what what caught my attention during the first listening of this track um i mean i ali zafar was the one uh main attraction here because i have hadn't heard bugs and ozzy before uh but i was kind of i mean uh, pleasantly surprised first of all the rap part was done very nicely you know mm-hmm. uh, it wasn't done in a rap manner where it's very hard to catch especially mm-hmm. because it was it was in punjabi as well right so uh, for us urdu speakers uh that's even more difficult it becomes more difficult you know to understand what's happening mm-hmm. so it was done very brilliantly uh, uh the vocals from both of them bugs and ozzy uh and then ali zafar's voice as soon as it start the alap where mm-hmm. where he brings this this very haunting mm-hmm. sound that you know that did it for me that okay mm-hmm. you know this i have a lot of interest in this track yeah. you know that uh, kept me interested um yeah uh, moving on to uh when ali zafar started with the chorus uh with with this, this layered uh backing vocals it was just mm-hmm. it just added to the experience of this track mm-hmm. the best thing that i liked about this this track was bullishas kalam mm-hmm. right um before coming to it uh what i would want to point out that the uh the tidbits that kept kept me interested that made me like this track instantly was in the beginning there was this brilliant acoustic sound right mm. uh i loved it very warm uh very very soothing but then every th- all the vocals around it were also very very warm the tones mm. were warm mm. throughout which i naturally like this mm. subjective thing right a very in- individual thing 
So um, yeah, then the the electronic um, instruments, electronic music. But there was this uh, bass slash drum thing mm-hmm. happening uh, throughout this track, uh, which which was nice, which was nice. But then it was all about the vocals and the kalam. Now, it even though we are not native Punjabi speakers or we don't understand uh, Punjabi that well, both of us probably, right? Mm-hmm. We do catch it we do understand overall what's happening what's what's being said the way this kalam was read or sung or delivered or performed was brilliant brilliant Mm. and what the first thought that came to my mind was that we need more of it yeah we we need more of kalam from uh, bullish uh, satal sarmast and all these uh poets and and yeah, Sufi saints, right? <clears throat> they, they, even though we don't understand such a sermon, mm. because it's done in Sindhi, somehow, mm. s- for some reason, it always have an effect on you, even though you, you don't understand it. And this is the power and magic in their kalam. Mm. And the, also the way Ali Zafar and Bugs and Ozzy performed it had that fe- effect on you. This is very warm. They're haunting and this. Mm. Um, this whole arrangement was done in a manner that would have that effect on you so yeah. that was the extent of it I, I loved it uh, again I don't understand the lyrics through and through I do get it but yeah uh, more of it please yeah absolutely and I, I actually like the video a lot as well because the I mean it's it's a typical superhero kind of uh, short movie, I would say that we have experienced in the past. Uh, as I mentioned during the video, the, the environment felt like the Gotham City. Um, you mentioned Mad Max. I actually want to mention one more name from Bollywood, interestingly, which was, which was a very underrated movie. It was not uh, heard of a lot and not really, it didn't do great business, but the movie was called uh, Pavesh Joshi, the superhero. And it was, it had a similar sort of a storyline where self-proclaimed vigilantes who are fighting oppression Mm -hmm. the lawlessness within the city is rooted so deep uh, and there is no one to question the powerful the duo of vigilantes actually the duo in this particular video are Bugs and Ozi Osama and Salman so they mentioned it in the video as well and they decide to take matter in their own hands and one interesting thing that I felt in the video I may be wrong um, maybe if uh, someone can correct us, but the antagonist is probably played by Ali Zafar. If, Ali Zafar, if, yes. Yeah, when when he took off his mask, it's basically Ali Zafar, and I, I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a second part of this particular video coming pretty soon because they ended it where actually the antagonist on a cliffhanger won, kind of on a cliffhanger kind of situation, and um, as I mentioned, I I, I went to Bugs and Ozzy's channel and they. There they mentioned that they would be throwing in similar stuff pretty soon. So we we might come across a trilogy or even just two part series of this song. And yeah, I mean, visually it was done brilliantly, very high class work uh, that has come from Pakistan. I think um, we have experienced similar kind of work or the animations in Bayan's videos, uh, not of this brilliant quality they are also pretty quality stuff when it comes to animation but i it felt different. This is, it's different yeah it is it is obviously different um but i thoroughly enjoyed the video the the entire package as i said so yeah two things uh, more from my side I just want to build on top of what you were saying about the video uh the video again felt like very sci-fi dune mad max mm-hmm. kind of you know um mm-hmm. and f- someone who reads a lot of sci-fi uh, can uh, you know relate yeah. a lot to it uh, but I was thinking that the we have been seeing this level of quality from Sarkin I mean in terms of video Sarkin, uh, Sarkin we have seen uh, we have seen a, a animated video Sarkin Bayan now Alizafer and more so I mean the the, the level of talent uh, these show I mean they, these work show I mean we could produce animated 
sci-fi movies movies you know or or, or, of or series you know t- of or course. web series or something of but course. but that's that's a that's a different topic for a different day i wish that happens but um the last thing on ali zafar <clears throat> so whenever something comes out from ali zafar you kind of want to hear him because mm. the, the level of talent this guy has mm. i mean he's trained he has probably he's one of those guys from pakistan who has the biggest range in his vocal armory right absolutely absolutely um the the, the and also the level of command he has uh, mm. he has his training the command he has he can make anything sound brilliant and uh, that's why whenever something comes out you want to hear ali zafar and this is why i heard this track for the first time because it was coming from ali zafar and again <laughs> what can what can be said about him and his vocals so yeah i think <sighs> that's actually true uh, we, we that's a very hear... very good point yeah because you and, and the interesting thing is that ali zafar I, i as far as um my point of view is concerned ali zafar's music is extremely unique in a sense that he doesn't do you you cannot really identify or associate him to a single kind of music you would listen him doing absolutely pashto tracks you will listen to him doing ghazal you will listen to him doing commercial stuff you will listen to him doing uh, the traditional osts even the rock stuff he he does everything he does everything so it's it's really the command as you mentioned it that he has in his voice the tonality that he puts in every kind of track is just amazing to experience so you're talking about his versatility uh i was i'm going to just talk about his voice again uh, i mean his voice the range is such that and the command on the range yeah, is such yeah. that that he can he can sing bass he can sing baritone he can he can he can deliver tenors uh mm-hmm. he can deliver counter tenors I've, probably we saw it in in rockstar rockstar right but all of this with a lot of command you know mm-hmm. he is not uh, you know uh, master of one yeah he is master of all all <laughs> so all. yeah i mean th- this guy whenever something comes out of it you got to you got to listen yeah. to the stuff he yeah. throws absolutely but yeah let's let's conclude it over here um i i want to thanks i want to thank bugs and ozzy specifically because probably it's their idea uh and they come up with the entire narration and entire lyrics of this particular track and for producing such good music and thank you so much viewers once again for experiencing this track with us and let us know your thoughts around it and we'll catch up on the next one take care bye bye